at the end of about end of 2006 i was approached uh, by then i think he was uh, he was still vice president then they approached me uh, to say they want me to go and do a project in Mosul. so we went there and i looked at the place it had uh, it, uh, then it had one little house, which, is, which was uh, for Echi himself. Uh, it had one bedroom and uh, uh, a, a, a storeroom on the other side with a bathroom and a toilet in the middle. Uh, so we went around and there was a slab for the kitchen. There was a tent there, which was uh, used as a kitchen and dining place. So I took over the project in stages. We started with the, the house where the president is staying now. We extended it with, uh, with one room, which is now a sitting room. And uh, above that room, we put, we didn't use a roof, we put a concrete roof to make a deck to facilitate the, the viewing platform on top, which had a roof also above. And then we went to the kitchen and the dining. We, we built it up to a certain level not too high, about a meter and a half there about, with windows all around. We put a new roof there, we put ceilings, we tiled the place, we tiled the, the by then that house where she is staying now had, had only windows without glasses, no doors, no what, so we plastered it, put in glasses, put in all the necessary finishes, the plumbing finishes, the electrical finishes, we, put, we tiled it. Uh, that was the first phase we left. And at a later stage, I can't remember when, but it was after some time again, we went back again. I was approached and I went back again. We built, uh, I think it's about three showers with the double showers in them, uh, with, with water, connected with water. Because uh, on the initial stage, we put up a tank with the, water, with, the, with the steel stand, which is about, I think, three and a half meters high with a, with a 10,000 liter water tank. We installed that ourselves. And uh, we connected all the facilities to that water system. And we built a soak away uh, and a septic tank to facilitate for drainage. It's no, 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 it was, uh, well, even me, when I went in, I went in as uh, just one of our clients, not as uh, someone, not using his position. I mean, he approached me as any other client would do. So I agreed, I said I can do it. I'm in the business of construction, so I'll take a job like that. Next to H's house, there is a house which is, which, which I was approached by uh, Margaret, uh, Margaret Kama, to, to, to facilitate, to build a, a house next to H's, which they were going to finance on their own as well. Uh, that, that's what would, you would call a bigger house around there. I think if someone went there and looked at the houses, that is what you would assume is the, is the main house of the place. It's, it's, I wouldn't call it a tower. I would call it a viewing platform of some kind. It's, it's uh, like I said, the room that we built next to the boss's house, the room that we extended that house with, it's got a sitting room under, but above it we put a concrete roof and created a, a tower with balustrades where someone can sit and view the, the pan and it's got a roof. It's, it's, it's standing at about the height of say three meters height. It's not a big issue. It's, it's um, I would say six by three or six by four there about, about 12, 15 square meters of space, sitting space. That's, that's the viewing platform that we built there. I did that uh, myself. Uh, not in my wildest dreams. I wouldn't. How would you describe it? It's, it's a basic place where people go in once a year or twice a year. It's not used like on a daily basis. So I don't see how someone would put millions in that project. I, I don't see how. I'm just looking at it from my own point of view. It wouldn't strike me as a presidential palace or anything. Like I said, the, the, the house that you would think is a, is a palace, so in, you know, it's not a palace, but that's what one would think is a palace, is, is a Tom's house next to the boss's house. Uh, at the time we built it, I would put it around half a million. Thereabout, you know, more or less, all the buildings, because the, the buildings are built out of blocks to start with. 
everything is basic. We are using the cheapest windows that you can pick on the street. Uh, all the material we are getting from Litakeni, and you can't get classic material from Litakeni. I don't think you can. No, I was working with my guys. I took experts from here. I took electrician, plumber, a couple of bricklayers, carpenters, and then I found that it was going to be a bit expensive to bring in uh, casual laborers like from Habaroni. So I went in the village there in Musu and organized a number of boys to help us. So every time we went, we picked the boys. They came and helped us to do the labor work. In fact, at the end, even the, the, the building works, I was hiring labor from the village, you know, in Musu. So I never worked with any government employee on my projects. Yeah, every time uh, I went in for specific works to do, I valued it. I, I went there, did the quotations, you know, work out what estimates, what we need and all that stuff. I put it on paper. I put my labor on it. I go to, to, to then v the VP then and uh, he paid directly himself. Yes. Yeah, no, uh, like I said, I wouldn't speak on behalf of BDF or anybody. But what I know is the project that I was doing myself, I was using labor from Musu and my experts, my own workers, some of them who I'm still working with now. Who, you know. So you were not uh, paid by any government receipts? No, I was not paid by anybody outside the VP himself. And if I did, uh, like, like I said, I did Margaret's house, they paid me directly themselves.